Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Crystal here and today's video is going to be my top 5 drugstore foundations and they are beginner friendly and for all types of skin, dry, normal and oily combinations. So yes, before I get started I want to go ahead and get your opinion on what you guys think about this background. I have been playing around with my backgrounds lately, I don't know if you guys noticed, but right now I am in my bedroom. As you can see, the lighting is a lot better because I have gotten um, different things to go ahead and try to make it better. And of course, I am filming on my camera right now. So let me know what you guys think about the quality and stuff like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the foundations. So the first one I'm going to go ahead and mention is my absolute favorite foundation. And... I like to use it not every day but kind of maybe like once a week and it is the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. Now this one it doesn't come in too many colors. I think it comes maybe in like five or six colors but it is a really really nice full coverage mousse foundation. So it is a really thick consistency. It doesn't move. It doesn't budge. It is 100% full coverage, so you need to be careful when applying this. I don't recommend building up on this product just because how full it can be. Also, another a down part of it could be is if you have crazy big pores, it may sink into your pores. It may not. I don't know. I have large pores. I haven't had a problem with it, but I do see that happening to some people. But all you have to do is just use a primer and you'll be okay. So anyways, I do like this. This is great for photos. It doesn't have like a white cast to it or anything like that. I love this foundation. Really, really recommend it. And I think it's only 4 or $5. So, yes. I really do like that. You can use a brush for its fullest coverage. Or you can use a beauty sponge and have it more full coverage. But yet with that natural kind of finish. So, yes. Another full coverage foundation is this Revlon Color Stay, and this one is not good anymore, but I can't find mine. So I um, use this one, and the only reason why I keep this bottle is so that I can see the different colors that I am throughout the year, so I can actually remember them, if that makes sense. But yeah, they have a normal to dry skin formula, and then they also have the oil the oily combination skin which is the one that I have right here and this one's actually like really nice this one I guess is comparable to the MAC studio fix but the only difference is that it's less yellow I'm actually wearing the MAC studio fix right now on my face but like I said it is less yellow and I think that is a lot better because not everybody is yellow undertone so anyways this foundation is full coverage it is thick but not as thick as this one so this one is a nice like liquid foundation full coverage great for pictures great for honestly like for every day this one right here lasts a long long time and so does this one so if you don't like the mousse kind of foundations I recommend the liquidy one so really really nice and they have two different formulas like I said so moving on to dry skin so if you have dry skin and you just really want like even skin tone and your skin to look kind of like airbrushed and flawless, I recommend the Maybelline, what is this, Fluid Touch Foundation. This is a serum based foundation and it has a little applicator like this and this one is pretty runny. A little bit comes out but I recommend using a flat top kabuki brush the denser the better so that it doesn't sink through so since it is a serum base it is a like very very moisturizing on the skin it leaves your skin feeling really nice and soft and like flawless like you woke up like that but it is a really really nice foundation if you are oily skinned I recommend like using some kind of primer or oil absorbing powders or blots or something because this stuff will make your face greasy unfortunately but it is a great everyday foundation it kind of reminds me of the MAC face and body a little bit but better formula 
So, I really do like this guy. If you have dry skin, this will be perfect for you. Okay, so the next one is this Rimmel Match Perfection. And this one here is for those beginners that are scared to use foundation. Since it is a match perfecting foundation, it's very easy to go ahead and make mistakes. And But it'll be okay because it's accident proof. Since it matches your skin tone, you just gotta kind of, you know, like how to get somewhere within your range. Because there's not really that many to choose from, so it's not hard to kind of pick your range. So this is for those people who are scared of foundation or new to using foundation. Go ahead and try this one. This is for the beginners. So this one right here is a liquid foundation. It doesn't have a pump, unfortunately, but it's whatever. You can use, I recommend using a brush with this and it is like skin matching. I think it is kind of like a light to medium coverage. It is definitely buildable. But I don't recommend going over it more than twice. So this is a really, really good foundation. You can actually build it up to medium coverage. Great for beginners. It's accident proof. I kind of like that foundation for like whenever I don't really want to wear too much makeup. But I just want to like, even my skin tone, I go to that. But if I want to go ahead and build it up for more um, coverage, that's what I go for. So we have one more foundation left and it is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation and this one is like skin. This is a really, really popular foundation and it is because it makes your face look amazing. This is a medium coverage foundation and the cool thing about this is that it like really doesn't cake. You can apply like five layers, which I don't recommend, but you wouldn't be cakey. Anyways. So this is a really, really good foundation. This is a good foundation to like where you want a darker outer foundation and then a lighter one on the inside because you wouldn't cake up. This is a great foundation for all, honestly, all types of skin tone, skin like <clears throat> all types of skin tones, all types of like formulations of your skin, whether you're oily or dry. This is a great foundation. It's very, very like it's not too too thin but it's not too thick it's a great in between it is nicely this one's a bit darker for me as you guys can see like it evens out your skin tones get rid of redness it blends in beautifully you can use a brush to get its full capacity or you can go ahead and use a beauty blender and get more of an airbrushed type of finish and that's kind of like what I like to do so yeah that's basically it I hope I covered everything for you guys I covered a good foundation for beginners it doesn't necessarily need to be this one but any kind of um, match matching kind of foundation I know Alme has one but the coverage on that is not as good as the coverage on this so I'm just saying and then we have some for oily skin, full coverage. You have to love the full coverage. And then again, this also comes in a normal to dry formula, so you gotta love that. This is for perfect for normal to dry skin. It's a serum-based foundation and is amazing. And then this one is great for all skin tones, so yeah. We covered the basis so don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up click the subscribe button to go ahead and see two to three videos every single week and they'll just pop up on your news feed also don't forget to leave comments below and follow me on my social media and leave me any requests that you guys would love to see and without further ado I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys